Hey YouTube, it's Cape Kaikuda. In a junkyard in Shops, Florida. It's in Cocoa, Florida. It's a do it yourself junkyard. You pull it. Um, down here, getting that ABS unit out of a 2001 Ford Windstar. It had caught fire and burnt up a wire harness. I uh, replaced the wire harness on the on the Windstar already. I was down here and got the wire harness. The guy wanted to wait to see if the car started and to see what else it needed before he bought the ABS. So I get the truck all running and stuff like that. And uh, now I'm down here to get it to ABS. He still has got a lot of work with the Windstar. He bought it at an auction. I don't know how much he paid for it. He hasn't told me how much what he what he paid for it, but it's a Windstar Sport. Uh ES ES Sport, I think it's called. Um it's loaded, it's got the leather interior and stuff like that. It's got fog lights, it's got AC and stuff. The AC's currently not working. And uh his his windows don't work. One window in the back. Uh, opens up, motorized o open up in the back, the far back. So some other stuff that he's got to fix. Uh, everything else works. Uh, uh, my buddy Dre thinks he might need an ECM in the in the truck. But I'm down here to get an ABS unit. We're way back in the corner over here. I wanted to shoot a video of me putting the wire harness in. I'd lost my phone. And, uh, I didn't know where it was. I thought it was in my buddy Dre's car. And, uh, the next day I was out in, the, in my truck. And the phone rang. And it was on the passenger side beside the seat and the uh, door on the passenger side, so I would have never found it, uh, you know, unless, you know, I go through the passenger seat, you know, the passenger's door. But Luckily it rang, because I didn't even know it was over there. But here's a little shot of this junkyard. So I didn't get the, I didn't get to do a follow video of me putting the wire harness in and stuff like that. Uh, there was wires that I had to splice together and I soldered them and shrink wrapped them and put uh, the plastic sleeves over it, protect the plastic sleeves and taped it up and stuff like that. So it's really well protect protected and insulated. because I pulled it out of a 2001 also it was all all the colors matched and this is the truck I got it out of they had cut they had cut wine harness uh, before I you know could get to it this one has the third row seat I got a couple of seats bucket seats that I also gave them. Let's get two benches, huh? The, the truck I'm working on has bucket seats. That's my tool for taking the ABS out. I had already took it down, so I just gotta cut it out now. This is how I broke my phone the last time I was here. I got one of these rocks got in my pocket with my phone and cracked my screen. So it cost me a phone. <clears throat> That's it right there hanging down. So I gotta scoot down a little. Put this out. The unit, this unit on top of the ABS had caught fire where the plug is. So the wire harness is missing because I stole it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut this out. See if I can do this for mine. Type fit. <laughs> the arms 
was so long that it was hitting me as I was trying to close them. <laughs> yeah. It's dark in there. Dark on the video. I'm looking at the video screen. Dark. Come on, open up. One side. I cut it on the other side of this so they could keep these lines if they wanted to. I'm just gonna cut those four. I'll get back to you because it's kind of hard to cut it like that. You can uh, picture me cutting these other four ABS lines. I'll get back to you. Keep Carcuta signing off. Thanks for watching.